Yeah. We'll get back to that stories. Guess you want to hear about the beer and wine and marijuana. God's going to be cool with that. But here's the thing that's got to remember. They are sins. You cannot do those kind of things. If you choose to, you're losing points. And hard liquor is the worst. Because let me tell you a secret about hard liquor. And beer and wine, for that matter. After a certain point, your soul becomes out of control. And your avatar takes control. Anybody ever been drunk and made a stupid decision? It wasn't your soul. It was your avatar. It was the devil. It's the system that God's got sent into it. It'll purposely make you do something stupid. All part of the software to keep you on the path. So if you ever wondered where those stupid ideas come from when you get drunk, it is truly the, the devil the drill sergeant, or God, whatever you want to call it, his software that makes you make those choices. That's what he wants me to relay. And we'll save the stories for later. That's okay. I'm, I'm not here to talk about the worst. You're right. I have seen all the worst, and we're not working on the worst. We're working on going forward. We aren't gonna be pointing no fingers. And, uh, yeah. That is what we need to keep going on. But he did want me to give you the down low on alcohol and marijuana. Turns out I marijuana is actually the best of the, all of them. It was the one that he wished mankind had embraced. We would have had far less troubles. Because it's... Uh, its effects on its avatar is just the opposite of alcohol. It numbs the avatar. And the soul searches for questions and answers and thinks. Yeah, and they'll get to a point where you do stupid thoughts and that's when he's telling you you've had enough. Again, it's a software. The devil made me do it. <laughs> That's how he sets it up. That's what it's all about. Your drill sergeant, your nanny, is on your ass all day long. You want to put doubt in your head? He'll fester it into a conspiracy theory. You want to get drunk, you'll do something stupid. And many other little tricks. Everybody's ever dealt with karma? Dude, totally in control of karma. Every one of us have experienced that moment when, damn, I deserve that. So, it is a training session. 
It's a 50 year plus training session teaching us how to be a good person. Some learn the lessons, some just keep running into the wall. Which one have you been? I hope it's been a good one. St. Patrick, Christ the Second, Second Son, Second King, signing off.